It is day two of C++ programming with Unreal Engine 4 and last time I created a few very basic properties but we haven't really seen how this corresponds to something in, in blueprints so in order to see anything uh, what we want to do is to create a blueprint class but instead of basing it on an actor Want to base it off the C++ uh, my actor. So type in my actor, and then you're gonna get this uh, my actor. So select that and call it my CPP actor. So if we open that up and take a look at what we have, then we can see we have the construction script, and we have these default things here. So we can just delete this one. And that is going to make it look completely similar to what we have for our corresponding BP actor. So if we click up at the top here, we can see we have the my boolean and we have the my integer, and you can set them to something uh, which is pretty cool. So what we normally do with things like this, um, we actually usually want to see them over here. Uh, but they don't show up as variables over here. So in order to see them, um, we need to show inherited variables. And that's going to show whatever is inherited from the base class, which uh, you can see under class settings is my actor. Uh, but you don't see it right now. Um, so the way to expose them over here is actually to switch over to Visual Studio. And we have this u property edit anywhere and that's but that by itself is not enough so if we go to the documentation and take a look at what it says um, we have something called blueprint read write so if we add that one so you can add specifiers to these so i'm just going to do it for the boolean to begin with and by the way, notice that I added a lowercase b in front of these because uh, epic naming conventions seem to uh, want to have these uh, b in front of booleans. Uh, apparently only for booleans, not for integers or vectors or whatever. Um, so now we can see we have something called a group now here called my actor, and here we can find my uh, boolean. So we can drag this in and set it, and as you can see, it's now being renamed, or it shows up as my boolean here. Um, so now we can actually set it from within our blueprint. Um, so that's a good thing, a little extra something. Um, so next, uh, as everybody does, uh, we should do a um, hello world thing, um, and by that we should uh, implement this using a, a loop function. So we do that by, um, if you're familiar with C sharp, which I am, uh, then defining a function is just a matter of typing uh, function declaration or method declaration um, like this. Oops. And normally in in uh, what you do in C++ is you make your implementation, but this is actually the um, method declaration. And we're doing this in the, in the header file. Um, so in order to get generate the, because we need to create this stuff in the C++ file and we can take a look at what, without having to know how to set this up really, we can do a few things. <clears throat> we can type in void and you can see from up here, we need to have this uh, my a, a my actor and then colon colon and we call it my method. And then like this, that should be our uh, method declaration where we can put our implementation. So as you can see, it's working and doing some header fun stuff down here. And now we can see the coloring and all that stuff is uh, being updated. So it takes quite a while to update, which is kind of unfamiliar for me. Where since I'm used to C sharp, uh, where everything just updates instantly. Um, so I read somewhere that you can actually go to the project settings and under this nmake additional options, you can add 
uh, like a, what is it called, um, I guess it's a compiler directive or something. And if you check uh, MSDN, let me see if I can find that link. Um, I think it's here, yeah. Um, it says somewhere down here. If you add this uh, YU, then it will use a pre-compiled header file during build. And that's actually going to be helpful um, both during building, but also for populating the intelligence. So if we take a look at the, our project folder where things are looking uh, um, located right now, it uh, looks like this. So if we hit OK here and then switch to the folder again, then you can see it says initializing and scanning and something is happening here. So it added this folder called IPCH. And if we navigate in here, you can see it's currently empty, but that's because it's scanning something. So we're going to allow it just to scan through this, these, uh, I guess it's the header files and it's going to create some kind of cache for this, which is going to basically allow the intelligence uh, yeah, to look up faster. So it seems to be done now. So we can uh, return to this and let's go back to the creation of our method. So we also need to create uh, one of these um, macros here and they are for methods, they are called, uh, you know, they are called functions. We create functions, so it's a u function. It was supposed to be faster. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's not. Right now, okay, view function. There we go. So the view function, I found another link here on the documentation. Um, has a number of um, content you, you can put in here. So you can click through these blueprint authority only. Uh, does it sound right? So blueprint call one sounds correct. This can be executed in the blueprint or level blueprint graph. Um, so we probably need to add this one. So if we add that here and build. It's going to give us an error and it's completely useless. The other compilation error. I have no idea what that means. Uh, I mean, all this stuff here what, with uh, very, very explicit rights to run this command, I believe that is because something is missing and that is also totally confusing. And well, I did figure out what was wrong with this. Uh, I don't know if there's a, another way to see more detailed information of uh, what is going on, uh, but I guess it's because I'm missing a category here. But um, yeah, so if I add this and compile again, it's going to be succeeding. There you go. Very weird, if you ask me. So uh, back in here, if we type in uh, my method, we now have access to my method and that's a way of uh, one way of creating um, a function and right now it's not doing anything so calling it's not gonna, really going to do anything uh, but we're going to change that so we're going to make um, right now it's, it's a void method so it doesn't return anything uh, so let's make it return a string and um, basically what I so far uh, figure out was that if you make for example if you make a variable in here and you say you want to make this a uh, string um, this new variable or some um, then if you want to figure out what the corresponding data type or variable type is then you just need to generally add something in front and that, then it's going to be the same so for vector it's going to be f vector for rotator I think it's also an f T uh, transformer, I can't remember, but um, it's something uh, I guess we can look up uh, and take a look at la later on. But uh, for now, um, let's change the 
return type of this. So replace the void with uh, f string like this. And uh, yeah, that means we also need to change it in the implementation. So f string. And now we can do a return like this and build. All right, so now it's returning something. It says my method is returning a string, so let's do a print for this. Good old print. Uh, nothing is showing up because I don't have this actor in my scene, so I'm just gonna drag that in. And now it says hello world. Yay! That was step one. So we are getting somewhere. Um, while we added, I wanted to take a look at some other options we have for the, um, the function calls. Um, so if we just switch to the editor here, you remember we have this all right here and sometimes you have point damage and you can all right that one. So all right the point damage. Um, function but how do we get our uh, my method in here um, and that's where some of these function specifiers comes in so we had um, I looked at two of them and sort of figured out how they work <sighs> not completely but I uh, this one blueprint implementable event um, if we add that, it says the function can be all written in a blueprint or level blueprint. Um, so it sounds like it's something that can be all written, doesn't have to. Um, and if we replace our blueprint callable with that and compile, And it's going to say it's already defined in my actor CPP. So it's saying that we have a declaration, but it's already declared in the CPP file. So it sounds like it can't, it must be, and that means that it can't have an implementation. So if we just out comment this like this. Then it's saying it's um, yeah invalid basically. Um, so let, for now, let me just delete that one, and we can go to the all right. So now we have the my method, and in here we can set then type. So we can type cp uh, hello world. So what the? I did call. Um, my method, where did it go? My method here is okay. So it says now it's not marked as a blueprint callable, it cannot be placed. So we need to add that uh, blueprint callable again. Now we can call it. So now it says BP hello world. So I guess this is a way of saying we need to have a my method and you need to, if you want to implement it, you need to implement it in a blueprint. So yeah, I guess that can be useful in some cases. Um, we can also do something else. Uh, we can use the, um, the other one I pointed out, uh, which is a blueprint native event. And this is designed to be overwritten by a blueprint, but also has a native implementation 
write a body named same as a function name and then underscore implementation and then it will figure everything out for you so if we try that out um to begin with i want to copy the name because i already forgot it so we call it blueprint native event um, so let's just replace that one and it said we need to type in implementation afterwards so implementation and it still returns hello world so i guess this is okay for now so we're just going to compile this okay um so for now let's get rid of that one and also that one so if we all write it again, it's going to generate this for us. So it's going to say we want to do something from the parent method, uh, which currently says hello world. Uh, so if we play this, oh, fuck, forgot to hook it up again. Um, where did it go? Here. And it says hello world and that hello world is coming from the c++ code so uh, on top of that we can obviously also add add some um, append something in blueprint so append hello world it is i the blueprint Oh, hello world, it is I, the blueprint. So now we combine something from the C++ with uh, some blueprint, which is kind of neat to know how to do and you know, um, it's gonna come in handy at some point, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so we have a figured out way now to work with variables, sort of, in a very, very basic way. And I figured out a way to add a method and expose it in here and i found a way to make it all writable and that's pretty cool it's a good start i mean um and we have a way of testing whatever comes out of this by fi we figured out where we can add a, a new blueprint class based off our um, my actor um so yeah um it's not like it's super advanced at all yet, but it's it's a good start, I think. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for this video. I hope that was useful, uh, and thank you for joining me on my C++ adventure here. Um, yeah, so until next time, bye-bye.